Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Let me say at the top that the Photoshop function I'm going to be talking about in this video doesn't do what you probably think it does. That function I'm talking about is under the File menu. It's down under Automate, and you can see Crop and Straighten Photos. When I first saw that, I thought it would work on an image such as this. This image is a little crooked. And it's really not the best framing of the lighthouse. It's not really in the rule of thirds. So I thought if I went up to file, down to automate, and over to crop and straighten photos, it would automatically straighten this image and crop it so that it's a better composition. So when I click on it, you'll see after a brief second or two, I get all these tabs across the top. And it's just really little chunks of my image. I really don't understand what it did. Well. Actually, that menu item, Crop and Straighten Photos, is very useful. Uh, it doesn't do, though, what you think. It doesn't really crop and straighten an image that is crooked and maybe needs some cropping. Now, I have to close down all these tabs. Let me do that, and then I'll come back, and I'll tell you exactly where that menu item is useful. Where it is very useful and what it's meant for is when you have a single scan of multiple images. Here I have a single scan from my parents' wedding. You can see that there's four individual images here. Now if I go up to File and then down to Automate and then down to Crop and Straighten Photos, it will find all four of those images and crop and straighten them and put them in their own tab. Just like that. And it did it very quickly. Now this one, it thought it was a horizontal image when really it's a vertical image, but that's easy enough to fix. I could go up to image, image rotation, 90 degree counterclockwise, and that one's fixed. Now it's not perfect. Uh, if you go back to the original scan and you look at the picture of my mother, and then you look at what it came up with, it cropped it in maybe a little bit too tight for something I would have done if I scanned that image all by itself. But this is a real time saver. Instead of scanning these in images individually, you could just load up your scanner with as many images as possible. You could have them on there haphazardly, crooked, sideways, whatever, and Photoshop will find them and put them in their own individual tabs and do its best to crop and straighten them. And in most instances, it does a fine job. So that is what that menu item is for. And I think you'll agree that if you do scan photos, it's very, very useful. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.